ELO of Charles and uh, all over the world. It is Billy Hove with you across the northwest on a Sunday afternoon. I do hope you keep them well. Uh, keep those coming in, your pet hates. Uh, keep those stories and those uh, pet hates coming in. We've had a few good ones coming in so far. So um, keep those coming in and we'll have a little chat about them. Now, as we all know, um, our local area is famous for its music and its creativity. Uh, we're also famous for how generous we are and um, and are always uh, the first to step up and help others. So my next guest um, combines a passion for music, performing, creating, uh, and also supporting many local causes. Her latest single is called Waiting for the Music, and it's my pleasure to welcome onto the show the wonderful Angela Inkson. Angela, how are you? I'm good, Billy. Thank it's you. It's good to have you here. Thank you for having me. It's, um, you're one of sort of like those people that we, we know each other on social media, but it's um, yeah. meeting face-to-face is a different matter, isn't it? Very, very, yeah. So um, it's good busy. to have you here. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Thank you, you, honestly. Thank you for having me. No, no, honestly, it's great to have you here. So um, what, where does your passion for music come from? Where's, where's that stem from? Just um, being inspired by singers just from such a young age and always just loving music. You know, it's like, it's just within, in, within me, you know. Um, I just love to sing, literally love to sing. All to do is listen to music. 24-7. Well, <laughs> yeah. you can see that from your social media because you're constantly singing. There's always videos you've been singing on yeah. social media. I know you love performing as well. You can tell that. But yeah. um, how would you best describe your style when it comes to writing? When it comes, I'm, I know you do a lot of covers and stuff as well, but like when it comes to your songs, where's your... Well, that's kind of something I'm finding me way at okay. the moment. Right. So I'm trying to discover where I sit best because I'm, I'm a lover of lots of different genres. Sure. Um, so... As you know, cover wise, I cover such a vast yeah. majority of um, genres. But for me, um, it's kind of like the soul pop okay. kind of route that I'm kind of heading towards. But influences are like Karen Carpenter. Okay, that's who I absolutely love. Grew, grew up listening to her voice, okay. um, and who I was inspired by. Yeah, you can hear. Well, you can hear that depth in your voice as well. Can sort you? Of, you say, yeah, you can hear that sort of like that. Yeah, you know, she had very much like an alto voice and lower. Actually. Yeah, yeah. What amazes me about Karen Carpenter is when you see sort of like the old footage of her, yeah. and a lot of people forget that she's a drummer. Exactly. A very, very good drummer. Amazing at that. drummer, wasn't but she? Yeah. What I don't understand is how she managed to drum a mm. really fast song. She's all over the kit. Yeah. And her voice is just absolutely steady. Yeah. And I said, how are you doing that? That's what you call talent, isn't it? <laughs> it's absolute Literally. talent. Yeah. So, um, well, it's a good person to be, um, you know, to seek influence from, uh, yeah, you know, definitely. Karen Carpenter. Now, you've done, your, we've mentioned sort of like about, you know, helping others and sort of like doing things. You've done your fair share for charities as well through your music and through, I think, your own personal sort of uh, passion as well, sort of like helping others. So tell us yeah. more about that. Um, I've just been involved in lots of different projects, which... Um, obviously raising money for different charities um, over the last couple of years. Um, Liverpool Live Aid is one of those charities which is going to be an event um, for next July. Um, Tony Cook is the managing director of That's that. Right, yeah. um, and we're going to be doing a song for um, Zoe's Place specifically for them. Right, yeah, I support them as well, Zoe's Place. So. Oh, yeah, um, and it's close to my own heart anyway. Right. So uh, we're going to write a song together Great. and um, we're going to... Uh, release it next May. Lovely, so, yeah. Because yeah. I know it's... Tony really well as well. Tony's oh, been on, the show. Yeah. yeah, I know oh, Tony really amazing. well. He's been on the show as well oh, in the okay. past. Um, it's it's only a very small <laughs> village, isn't it, when it, it comes is, to musicians and yeah. um, our, our industry. It's certainly in the local area here. Yeah. So you, you've done, you're doing your fair share. You're doing some more working with sort of like with Tony and you know creating a song as well. Yeah. But your latest song is something called uh, "Waiting for the Music." Mm -hmm. And um, uh, before we have a listen to it, I've had a little sneaky listen. Yeah. But uh, tell us about this song. Well, it's it's about just loving music, okay. and you know when you go out to like um, a, a pub or a club, yeah. and you you're just waiting for that song to come on. Right. Okay. Um, and then that makes you want to get up and dance. Right. Um, and it's about that really, um, and being on a journey. Um, okay. As well. So yeah. So, which way around did you write this? Was it music or lyrics first? Which way around did you do um, it? So, I, I write it with a guy called Chris Hollis. Okay. Um, so, we co-wrote this song together. Okay. Um, and we always start with the the melodies and then the lyrics. Um, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So, that's how we do it. Lovely. Yeah. Well, let's have a listen to it. Okay. So, okay. this is uh, Angela Inkson and uh, Waiting for the Music. I'm going out tonight. 
There we go. Angela Inkson and Waiting for the Music. What a great song, Angela. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. It's great. Motown. Definitely a bit of Motown in there. Yeah, there is some Motown You can going hear on. the bells. There's like tubular. It's like uh, chimes going on. Chimes, yeah. bells. <laughs> There's a Motown fill, a very famous Motown fill on the drums there yeah. as well. Yeah. So is that typical of your style or is it sort of like, do you change styles according to what the subject matter is? Yes, basically. I change and just whatever suits the song at the time. So right. yeah, always changing it up. I always like to have something different the next time round yep. um, from my first original song which is called Only Human yep. um, that was like a ballad full on pop ballad oh, right, okay. um, so yeah so this was completely different again and then me, me next single yep. which is nearly finished not okay, quite okay. <laughs> um, again that's kind of kind of a bit solely but a bit of country as well Really? Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. To, see, that sort of sound, that country sound is very popular at the moment it as well. Is, that's sort it? of like, that's sort of like really popular. Yeah. But then again, you can say that about the Motown sound that you just got from there. Mm, it's sort true. of like, it's a classic type sound. As soon as I heard the first sort of like, you know, couple of seconds, yeah. of that, I thought, yeah, definitely sort of like, that influenced yeah. by um, sort of like Motown or harking back to that era. It's like going back in time. Yeah, yeah. It's like going back in time. But <laughs> great song. Has it been Thank doing you. well? Has it been it's doing well? It's doing okay. It's doing okay. Yeah. Um, it's been a couple of months since that one's yeah, um, that's been right. released. Um, and it's not doing too bad. Good. Moment, so yeah good so what's next for you is it more writing is it performing is it more social media is social media would you say that's sort of like your main outlet a lot of people have that i think that's days. just a, a, a kind of a base for me um, right, okay. and obviously i'm building upon that um, and I've got some shows coming up, Great. support slots for um, a country um, artist called Laura Aston. So I've supported her in the cabin right. this April, just gone. Um, and I've got another support slot in November and again next April in the cabin. Great. So, um, so yeah, I'm just aiming towards more support slots and just, okay. you know, hopefully um, being on more of those gigs. And then eventually, eventually in the near future, my yes. big plan is to have like a mini little tours Good. around the northwest if i can we'll see what happens it will happen yeah you're hopefully. working towards you're working towards you're out there yeah. working that's the most important thing yeah is that you're, you're doing your stuff you've got um you're writing songs you yeah. support you're supporting people in sort of major venues cabin yeah. is a major venue of course yeah and um so you're out there doing it so it won't be Thank long you. Won't and be long. support from you know you guys and well having me on your show no, it's, that's it's, it's what we do it's what we do I appreciate it so where do we go then to follow you on um socials and find out more about where you're so going to be I'm all um, I'm on all the socials, Facebook, Instagram. Um, so yeah, my handle is just Angela Inkston vocalist. Um, and I sometimes I do post where I'm going to be um, performing li like locally, gig wise, because I actually gig with a a guy called Josh Bocout um, on acoustic guitar. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, we've got we've got november coming up in glasgow great oh Laura, great um and so i'm doing that with josh acoustically so don't tend to gig with back and tracks it's all live, live yeah. music so that's all i'm kind of used to um but yeah you can find me on all the usual great social platforms wonderful yeah lovely having a chat with you great Thank song you that you've got me. there and look forward to hearing the, the new one as well. Sort of like a little bit of a country oh, yeah. twist on, on that song as well. So thank you so much, uh, Angela Inkson. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. Billy Hoy. Billy Hoy.